everybody, I'm Lisa Quinn. Welcome to the show where I completely transform something in less than two minutes. What you need, what you really, really need. The quintessential. Two Minute Makeovers. Here's a quick story. One day I was driving down the road and I saw an abandoned cable spool. And what crafty girl is going to drive away from that? So I pulled over, hoisted it up on top of my truck, and brought it home where it has sat for three years now. I couldn't figure out what to do with it. You know, anybody can do a table, but that's so cliche in college. I wanted to do something a little more sophisticated. So I took it apart. And when I took it apart, I noticed that we had these two big round pieces. So my first thought was wall clock. It's a beautiful scale. It's going to be fantastic. But what are you going to need for a wall clock? You're going to need something big and round. If you have a cable spool at home, that's fantastic. If not, you could use a wagon wheel. You could use the top of a barrel. You could even use some plywood if you did a funky finish on it. It could be cool. What else are you going to need? You're going to need a clock kit. You're going to need a big clock kit. And these were actually really hard to find. I looked all around my neighborhood, and I couldn't find any at any of the craft stores or the clock stores. So I thought, duh, eBay. So I typed in 36 inch clock kit and a million came up. I ordered it, came two days later, I'm all set. All I'm gonna do is just adhere it to the center here, probably using some silicone, something that'll stick really well, and then we're perfect. What else do you need for a clock? You gotta have numbers. They can be really expensive. You can go to Restoration Hardware, you can go online and they have some beautiful nickel plated ones, but they're anywhere from like five to $45 a piece and I need a lot of numbers so that's out of control. So here's what I did. I went to Ace Hardware and I got these little guys and they're super cute. They look like they're cast iron but they're not. They're made out of plastic. $1.99. I especially like the back here. They're raised so they're going to stand out beautifully when we put them up on the wood here. They're simple to install. They've just got these little screw holes and they've got some screws. The wood's pretty soft so I don't even think I'm going to need to pre-drill the holes. You know that restoration hardware industrial chic look is all the rage right now. You see it on Pinterest and all the magazines, but it's so expensive. A clock like this could run you anywhere from eight to twelve hundred dollars. But because we were crafty, we were able to make it for less than fifty bucks and in one afternoon. Listen, this show was brought to you by IKEA, the life improvement store, and subscribe to our videos for more two-minute makeovers. I'm Lisa Quinn. Thanks for watching.